Hey guys, even here, and we are a couple of days out of Arnold Classic UK, and we got some really interesting physique updates in this video. And as you can see, we are starting with Wesley Wisser. So this guy is doing Arnold Classic UK after he just won the Arnold Classic Ohio. And if I was him, I would probably skip the Arnold Classic UK. Why? Because he's risking probably a little bit too much. He can gain a lot as well. But he's kind of risking a lot, because if he loses this show, and it's a possibility, it's not impossible, if he loses, he loses a lot of momentum. If he just won the Arnold Classic and then went to the Mr. Olympia as the Arnold Classic champion, the judges would pay a lot of attention to him, and he would be compared to Chris Bumstead most likely, if he's as good as he was at the Arnold. If he wins the Arnold UK, how much more momentum can he really gain? I don't think he can gain much. I don't think a victory at the Arnold Classic UK is gonna affect his momentum a lot. It might affect it a little in terms of he kind of proves that he can bring same conditioning twice, but it's only two weeks apart from these two shows, so we don't really know that. I mean, it doesn't really prove much, but maybe it helps a little. Now, based on his physique updates, like this one, it really looks like he is most likely winning this show because he still has that crazy conditioning. I mean, he doesn't really need to do much or anything, really. He needs to cruise into the show looking like this, because here, damn, like, he looks really freaking impressive. Look at those freaking shoulders, like, I don't remember seeing this much detail in someone's delts in a long, long time in any division, guys. I mean, I don't think we see this in open division, and I don't think we saw this in classic either. This guy is so freaking separated, so deeply. All the heads of his deltoid muscles are separated, and every head has more separation, and every separation is super, super deep. This is crazy. This is, as they call, an untouched physique. This guy is definitely not putting his oil in his shoulders. I mean, I would be surprised if I heard he does, because you don't really get separation like this if you're injecting in your shoulders. I mean, I don't think it happens. And I don't think he's putting it anywhere but maybe his upper glutes, because that's the only part he hides with his trunks. And, you know, everywhere else, his physique looks so untouched, so clean. All that being said, it seems like he might bring even better package to the Arnold UK, better conditioning, because look at his conditioning right here, from the Arnold, I think this was like, the perfect peak, I don't remember seeing a better peak in any division in a long long time, honestly guys, like he was shredded, and he was super full, I think this was him at 101%, can he replicate this, we'll see, but can he bring same conditioning, I think he might even improve conditioning, because look at his conditioning right here, the way it was, at the Arnold Classic Ohio. I think he looks more conditioned now, and there is still a couple more days to get even drier, to get even harder. So Arnold UK might be the best version of Wesley, but then if you consider the fact that he peaked here perfectly, I don't know how many times can you replicate perfect peak in a row, you know? Chances are not really in his favor, but based on the way he looks right now, he very well might be drier, he very well might be better. Now, I'm basing this solely on what I'm seeing right here in this physique updates. Chances, again, are not in his favor. Now, let's go back to what I was saying before. What can he gain from this Arnold Classic UK and what can he lose? So, like I said, if he wins, he gains a little bit more momentum. He kind of proves that he can repeat the peak, that it wasn't only luck, as it was, for example, with Hunter Labrada at Tampa Pro. That was Hunter's best, his all-time best. He was shredded, he was full, he was spot on. However, a week later, or two weeks later at Texas, it wasn't his best. And then at the Mr. Olympia, he was even worse. And from what I heard, it wasn't a smooth peak week for the Tampa Pro. He spilled over, I believe, a day before or two days before, then they tried to deplete him and they pushed, they pulled, and they found the peak, but it wasn't a formula. They couldn't replicate that. The next show, they didn't nail it. And then, at the Mr. Olympia, they missed again. Will that be the case with Wesley, I'm wondering? 
We don't know that yet, we'll see how well will he do at the Arnold UK, as for right now we can see that he is in good conditioning, like I said, potentially better conditioning even than Arnold Classic Ohio, we'll see how full will he be. It's gonna be very interesting to compare these two editions, these two peaks, but now back to my original point, what can he lose from doing this show? We well, you know what he can gain, it's not that much, but what he can lose is a lot, guys, a lot, he can lose a whole bunch if he loses this show to Urs Kaletinski. and guys, Urs Kaletinski beat Wes Luisers many, many times, do not underestimate Urs Kaletinski, guys, this guy was top 3 at the Mr. Olympia, he was second at the Arnold Classic, yeah, he lost to both Wesley and Ramon at the Arnold Classic 2024, but this was probably his worst edition ever, he was super flat, I think he was conditioned, I think his body fat was really low, but he was just way too flat, his posing wasn't his best posing, this was not Urs at his best, I don't know what went down, he did post some uh, videos on German, I don't know, maybe he was, I don't know, sick or something like that, I don't know, but this was not Urs at his best, so the question is, how much can Urs improve between the Arnold Classic Ohio and Arnold UK, because Arnold Ohio was maybe Urs at like his 70%, if that much. Now, if you look at this photo, for example, I mean, you would think there is no chance, zero chance of Urs beating Wesley. I mean, Wesley looks so dominant, man, it's, it's insane, it's crazy. Look at this guy, I mean, look at the freaking wee taper, not axe taper, wee taper, look at how much his lats are popping out, and those freaking arms, those freaking biceps, <laughs> this is ridiculous. But again, this is Wesley at his 110%, I wouldn't even say 101%, this was him at his absolute best, and I don't imagine him getting any better than this, it's gonna be very, very difficult to repeat this. I have no idea what his peak week looked like, if they did something drastic, or did he just cruise into the show looking the way he looked a week out, if that's the case, then sure, he can duplicate that, but if his coach had like some crazy peak week formula, then, you know, it's gonna be risky. Now, Urs, I don't think he can look any worse than he did the Arnold. Now, in this photo right here, he's turned to the judges, he didn't look at the camera, so it's not the best angle, it's like the worst angle, and again, he was super flat, I think his color was off, and his glaze wasn't perfect, so this was probably the worst version of Urs since he made the progress, of course, he was worse a couple of years ago when he was smaller, but since he gained all this size, this was his worst peak, and guys, Urs is coached by the same coach, like Wesley Wissers. Stefan Kinzel, I believe that's how you pronounce his name in German, his IG name is Boss of Outlaw, and I gotta say, this guy has been killing it lately. By the way, I think this guy would be a great choice for Samson Dauda, because he's also based in Europe, I don't know, we'll see, maybe he chooses him, but like I said, this guy is coaching Urs as well, so maybe they messed it up somehow, maybe it's Urs's fault, and for the Arnold Classic UK, Urs is gonna bring his absolute best it's possible, and if that happens, if tables turn again, if Urs beats Wesley again, if Urs is 100% and Wesley is less than what he was at Arnold Ohio, maybe Urs can beat him, and it's not only Urs who is beating him, it also means that Ramon is beating him, because Urs never beat Ramon, and of course, Sibam is beating him, so that puts Wesley in fourth position in the world, right now, he's second or first, he still didn't go against Simbam after he won the Arnold Classic, you know, that was his first huge win, and that was his by far best shape ever, but if he can't replicate that in two weeks difference, and he loses against the top three guy, then yeah, he loses a lot of stock, a lot of stock, so props to Wesley for having the guts to go through with this, there is a lot at stake, guys, a lot, but this guy doesn't complain, he doesn't come up with excuses, he's gonna do what he said he was gonna do before he even won the Arnold Ohio, so I hope he's gonna bring his best and win, because I wanna see this guy challenge Chris Bumstead, I don't think Worse is ever gonna challenge Chris, I'm sorry, but I'm being honest, I don't think Worse has it, if somebody can do it, then it's probably this guy, 
You guys remember when Chris won against Brian? Like, Chris was less muscular, a lot less muscular. Chris just had better structure, and that's it. Of course, later age caught up with Brian, but we might have the same situation this year with Wesley and Sebum, because maybe Wesley and his structure is exactly what the judges are looking for to represent the classic physique, and if Chris doesn't bring his absolute best, and Wesley comes, the way he looked at the Ohio, or maybe even better, we might have a new champion after five long years. It's very possible. Maybe the judges want a Wii taper, not an X taper. Maybe they don't care that Wesley doesn't have the biggest legs. Maybe they want big arms. Maybe they want a cleaner look without as many injuries as Chris has in his bicep, in his hamstrings. His quads are not torn, but they look like they have been. Maybe the judges opt for Wesley. So I think he has a good chance of winning the Mr. Olympia. So I have my fingers crossed. I hope this guy is gonna repeat at the Island UK. And he proves to everybody that he's actually a threat for the title, for the Mr. Olympia title. We'll see what's gonna happen in a couple of days. Based on this physique update, I think these guys got it. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Whatever your thoughts are, please comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.